Well, right there on the instrument panel at the very bottom is a video camera. Do you see that? Put a round camera right there. Oh, yes, yeah. Okay. The warning is everything you and I say and do on this flight will be recorded, so anything you don't want your friends or family potentially hearing or seeing, you'll want to keep to yourself, okay? Okay. No incriminating evidence, you know what I mean? Oh, I have an editing system. I can take it out. <laughs> Very good. good. Okay, all right. In the backseat, my name is Neil, and the airplane is a 1945 North American Aviation SNJ-6, commonly known as a T-6 Texan. We do have a 30-minute, uh, possibly aerobatic flight here today. We'll take a listen to the weather in just a moment. It looks like a beautiful day to go flying, though. 1550 five, Zulu weather. Wind 21010. Visibility is 10. Sky conditions scattered at 3,000. Temperatures 26, two points 18. Altimeter 3009. Official approach in use, landing runway 15. One of the first things that you probably notice in the uh, T6 on the ground is that forward visibility is a little bit of an issue. Kind of hard to see anything out there, isn't it? In a zigzag sort of fashion that allows us to peek out and make sure we haven't uh, had someone walk or taxi out in front of us, right? So what do you do for a living, sir? I'm uh, retired. I'm 71 years old. Ah, I would have never guessed that. Okay, Fred, if you would for me, sir, go ahead and slide your canopy forward. There you go. And if you don't want to go all the way closed, you don't have to. I think there's about a three inch notch there. If you'd like a little bit of air, that's fine too. All right, around the cockpit here, Fred, we'll just do a quick uh, pre-flight check. Flaps are up, the trims are set at 11 and two. Mixture and proper forward magnetos are on both. Our Squawk and 1200 towers up and our company frequency on standby. The primer's in and locked. Watch your knees here, Fred. We're gonna clear the flight controls, okay? All the way around the flight control column. That looks pretty good. All right, everything uh, is good with the airplane. I'm ready if you are. What do you say? Shall we get out of here? Ready. All right. And uh, do feel through with me on the takeoff. Okay, nice and light on the controls. And as soon as we get airborne, about 100 feet above the ground, I'll bring the gear up. And then I'll give her to you. In section one, Southwest departure approved. Runway we one five, cleared for takeoff. Clear takeoff one five, Texan one. Okay, here we go. Board Tower Dakota two nine one five Golf is ready with the right turn up. In November 291, Sierra Golf, or correction, 2915 Golf, uh, Kissimmee Tower, hold short, runway 1. All right, 36 hold inches, 2,250 RPM, engine instruments are in the green, airspeed's alive. You want to do a turn leap, is ready, 1-5. In November 295 Golf, Southwest Departure Pre, runway 1-5, go to the top. Push, landing gear's coming up. Power is coming back, 1-5 Golf. 2915 Golf, affirmative. All right, she's all yours, Fred, just hold it right here, okay? One five golf. You have the airplane. Nose down for me just a little bit. There you go, right there. Beautiful. And we'll just hold this to 500 feet, then we'll make a turn to the right. You're doing this, yeah? Nope, this is all you. I'm off the flight controls. Nose down for me a little bit. There you go. The airspeed is 100. Is that okay? Uh, about 110 would be good here. So nose down for me just a little bit right okay. there. Perfect. Excellent, Fred. And power 210, Charlie Lima is ready on 15. November 210, Charlie Lima, down runway one, one. Correction, turn and right on 270. Runway 15, you're there clear you for go. takeoff, and the Piper that departed in front of you is right southwest. There. Departure. This is an excellent heading okay. for now. Uh, clear for takeoff on 15, heading 270, and we'll be looking for the traffic. We're going to work our way about 25 miles out to the southwest here, Fred. We want to get clear of the Orlando class Bravo airspace, also a federal airway out here, and give you an opportunity to feel the airplane out before we start with our maneuvering. What do you think of the T6 so far? Fantastic. Absolutely. Nose down for me. She's just your fingertips, okay? I know it, look, it feels like it should be a big heavy airplane, right? But yes. she's actually very responsive and also uh, very stable. I can feel that, yeah. 
I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and trim her out. Go ahead and release the flight controls for just a second. I'm going to trim the airplane for you. Go ahead and let go of the stick. Yep. Okay. And let's just get her uh, elevator trim. I don't know if you can see me here in the back seat or not. No, I can't. Uh, turn, turn to the right, just see if you can uh, take a peek here. Uh, probably not. Well, anyway, you and I are both completely off the flight controls. Look how stable the aircraft is. Yep. All right, she's all yours. Come back on the controls and hold this heading for me. What speed? Yeah, 105, 110 will work just fine. Those down. Yeah. There you go. We'll climb up to about 3,800 feet for now, okay? Yep. Yep, just hold that attitude right there. If you look at where the horizon is intersecting the engine cowling right now, that's your climb attitude. So if you memorize that sight picture, as we call it, this will always give you about 115 or so miles per hour. And we want that forward airspeed to help keep our cylinders cool, right? Yep. And we'll go ahead and take it up to, uh, oh, 3,800 for now. We'll get on top of these clouds here uh, eventually. And we're not allowed to fly through them legally. So I do avoid them however you see fit. Uh, let's see, if you can hold this right heading for just a little bit, that would be good. Uh, just because of our airspace, the sooner we get over here to the west, the sooner we can climb higher. There you go, right up through there. Looking good. There's another flight of Marchetti's out here who we are uh, listening to. We want to make sure that we uh, don't interfere with those guys. Okay, left turn. Here we go. Looking good. I'm holding a bit to the left. Yeah, that'll work. Airspeed is 110. Yeah. But okay, that's perfect. And you can make a little bit of a turn to the left here. We're going to fly due south now. To, to the left? Yep, just a little bit, about 20 degrees to the left. There you go, right there. Perfect. Taylor on roll to the left, here we go. And keep on climbing. Hold your wings level here for me, Fred. Wings level. There you go. And we'll just keep working our way. Yes, folks, on. Looking good. Do keep your eyes peeled for those uh, two little Marchettis out here. Uh, actually, maybe just a couple of degrees to the left. All right. There you go. That way we'll go due south. Perfect. I haven't seen any Marchetti. I haven't either at the moment. Uh, I heard them, and I think they switched to tower, so they should be uh, yeah, going in, Joe. Yeah. yeah, they're headed back in. They've been practicing in our practice area, which is fine, as long as we know they're out there. And to tell you what, let's go ahead and hold our 5,500 feet here, if you would. Bring your nose down for me. Nose down, a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. There you go. And we'll reduce the power and bring the prop back to uh, about 18.30. And let's come left a little bit more, about another 30 to 40 degrees left. We'll head over here to the eastern side of Lake Pierce. Once we get over there, we'll do a, uh, a steep turn just to clear the airspace, make sure no one's out here hiding around the clouds. And then we'll try some of those aerobatic yeah. maneuvers, okay? All right. I'll demonstrate the first one, and then I'll have you do the same thing, okay? But let's go ahead and do a steep turn real quick, just to clear the airspace. Are you ready for that? To the left or right? Uh, let's do it to the left. Okay. All right. Follow through with me. Here we go. There we go. And we'll just hold that bank angle, keeping the airplane coordinated, of course. Most importantly, we're looking outside for those other airplanes, right? Seems to be all clear. Looking good so far. Looking good, yeah. And we'll just head.
head out to the southeast here. All right. Well, what do you say we do an aileron roll? This is our first aerobatic maneuver. Are oh. you you ready? Yeah, we are losing a bit of height. Are you increasing the speed? Yeah, that's intentional. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna pick up 160. I'll do this roll to the right, then I'll yep. have you do one to the left. Here we go. The nose comes up 30 degrees, one third of the way to vertical. We neutralize the back pressure, and then we roll. Just like that. What do you think, Fred? No, not for me. Not for you? Oh. Okay. Well, we don't have to do aerobatics. It's your airplane. All right. All yours. Yeah, we have lost some height. Should we go back to 5.5? Five five? Uh, actually, let's go down to 4.5. If, okay. we, if we're not going to do any aerobatics, sure. there's no need to be up high. Yeah. Yeah. What's the maximum speed you should not exceed? 240 miles per hour. All right. You're safe. <laughs> I'm not 70 at the moment, so it's okay. Oh yeah, yeah, very good. Alrighty. Turbulence yeah. over the auto, huh? uh, A little bit, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, let's go ahead and roll our wings level here. And we'll go up to the Disney parks real quick, okay? Okay. You have the airplane, just hold us on this heading. And uh, let's descend to 2,500. We'll cruise up there, see what's going on at uh, the theme parks, and then come back in and fly our overhead approach. So I have a lot of information about the T6. Gotcha. Quarter scale, that's huge. That's huge, exactly. It's uh, more than three and a half meters. Wow. We're approaching 2,500. Yep, go ahead and level here for me. We'll hold that 2,500 and just work our way out to the north. Okay. So the big long skinny lake over there on the right side is Lake Toho. Our airport's on the north side of that lake. Okay. But uh, we do need to come back to the left just a little bit. Okay. Not much out here, is there? No. <laughs> Alligators, I suppose. Yeah, there you go. Tell me, do you know what did this rocket go up yesterday from Kennedy? Uh, you know, I saw that, but I'm not sure which one it was. Oh. There's an airplane over there on the right. Looks like a Skyhawk. He's up high. No factor for us. Okay. Yeah, that was a beautiful launch last night. Matter hey, by the way, if you look over off the right wing tip right now, just in front of the right wing, way out on the horizon, you can actually see the vehicle assembly building over at the Space Center right now. Oh, the, the, oh I can see it, uh, the block. Yep. yep. That's a clear afternoon for you. Yes. We're a good, what, uh, yeah. 70 miles away? It is really clear. You can see downtown Orlando at uh, at 1 o'clock out there in the distance. You picked a good day. Uh. Now, there is a flight restriction in place around the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. We're not allowed to fly within three nautical miles of the center of Cinderella Castle. Well, we'll go take a peek at them, see what's going on, and then uh, work our way back toward Kissimmee. Okay, I'm going to come on the controls with you, but stay with me, okay? Yep. We'll fly right along the edge of this temporary flight restriction. And then uh, work our way back in. We'll make a turn here to the right. Off the right, 1 o'clock low, is Disney's Animal Kingdom. You oh, yeah. At the backside of Mount Everest down there, and a couple of dinosaurs poking out of the and then uh, at 1 o'clock now is Hollywood Studios, Epcot. Oh, I see, yeah. We'll put that stuff on the left side of the airplane here. And Disneyland is not so busy. Not it's so pretty quiet right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. There's Epcot, the World Showcase. And downtown Disney, the Cirque du Soleil, La Nuba, Planet Hollywood, all there beneath us on the left. Yes. I'm sorry, Texan 1, and we are uh, now about uh, 3 north of Old Town with Quebec. And uh, Texan 1, roger, uh, report the initial runway 15, and you've got traffic uh, 4 miles, base entry uh, from the airport at 1,500. Initial for 15, looking for traffic on base, Texan 1. Four miles on a base, that means he's at our altitude. Oh, 
Okay, for the landing, just stay very light on the flight controls with me. We are going to fly an overhead approach, which is a circling 360 degree descent to our landing. And Texan 1 uh, will be a left break, and you're going to be number 2 to follow the traffic on final. Left break to follow number 2, Texan 1. And Texan 1, runway 15, number 2, clear to land. Clear to land 15, number 2, Texan 1. Start working the power out here. In combat 1 2, can you expedite? I got uh, traffic so Cessna on one final final. Combat 12 is on the road. Combat 12, thank you. Alright, so we're going to make a left break to land. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Alright, once we get up here to the runway intersection, in uh, four or five seconds, we'll make that turn. So, here we go. In three, two, one. Power push. Here's the brake. Oh, oh, oh. gears coming down. Fantastic. That Cessna is on short final. We're slowing the airplane down, bringing the power yeah. back to 20 inches of manifold pressure. Airplane short final. Here's down and locked with a pen on the left and the right. Still slowly working our throttle out. Semi, November 751, Vector Alpha, with information Quebec uh, from southwest, uh, 10 miles out, requesting full stop. November 751, Vector Alpha, Semi, Tower, Port Water Tower, Jim Brown. Here's down and locked with a pen on the left and the right. Vector Alpha, thanks. Okay, November 1688, Charlie, contact ground. Contact ground, point seven one six eight Charlie. Power push, flaps coming down. Mixture's <laughs> in, mixture's rich, we're here. in the wide arc, we got the prop left to go. Wind is going to be a right crosswind at 10. Helicopter 74606, Gosemite Tower. Helicopter 74606, Gosemite Tower, Helicopter 74606, Gosemite Tower, 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 Power is idle. Oh, come on, baby. There we go. Air combat 12, uh, you're going to have traffic about five miles inbound of the water towers at 1,300, and uh, you can frequent change crew and have a safe flight. You can slide your canopy open if you want to get some fresh air there, Fred. Hey, we floated there a little bit. This airplane lands a little bit slower than Texan uh, 2, the airplane I normally fly. Yeah. So I uh, kind of screwed that one up a little bit. Well, we got her down. Oh, it looks great. Fantastic. And thank you very much. An absolute great flight. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It's absolutely my pleasure. We appreciate you coming out. Oh, I'll come back. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Taxiway looks clear ahead. All right, sir. Well, as we taxi into the shelter, do stay in your seat, of course, until we get the propeller stopped. Of course. Once we do, uh, you can remove your headset, start with the belts and harnesses, and I'll come up and give you a hand getting out. Thank you. All righty. Right back into the barn. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, it's absolutely my pleasure. I appreciate you flying with us.